Hello everybody, not these one three five seven nine, and we are going to be um, cleaning pennies right now with some vinegar and salt. So this is how it's going to work. Let's see, so I got the tub here that I'm going to fill with vinegar. I got my thing of pennies that are all corroded, and hopefully I can clean them all up and cash them in. All right, so we're going to pour in at least a couple cups of vinegar. I think that should be good. Maybe half a cup, I don't know. Well anyway, we're not using that much. We'll need a little bit of dabs of salt. Just using some generic stuff. Same thing with the vinegar, it's distilled white. And this is just regular iodized salt. Not sea salt. Swish it a little bit. And that's the same thing we're going to do with these pennies. We're going to drop a couple of them in, maybe a handful, and swish them around. Well, with our hands, because it's hard to do it with, without. Hopefully this works. Hopefully this gets the grime off of them. Look at that. Wow, eating right through it. That is cool. I'll put some more in. And when we're done doing this, or actually, I think the salt is being used up, actually, so we're going to pour in some more. The salt is being used up in the cleaning process. It's dissolving in the vinegar. Look at that. Well, it's kind of like ruined, but at least it's a little bit cleaner. This stuff is eating up on the concrete. Sounding like that. Uh-oh. Well, these heavily corroded ones, I don't know about this, but I don't think we're going to be able to clean them. Here, let's put in some more. And then we're going to take these. Holy crap. Well, that penny's gone. we got to get these out of here as soon as possible. Or else they're going to start to, uh, start to, start to fully dissolve. I don't want a bunch of copper oxide in here. But yeah, these clean up pretty good so far compared to that. Oh, that penny, that, that penny's got a hole in it. I'm going to take out the heavily corroded ones, and maybe if I go out to my grandpa's house, I can melt them down or something. Well, definitely not these, because look, this is forming even more crap on it. So we're going to take the cleaner ones out, and hopefully we can turn these into the bank, or just save them and... I don't know, but these are like heavily, heavily dissolved in acid. It's pretty strong acid, but it's not, it's not, it's not nearly as strong as hyd hydrochloric. And that stuff can just eat right through the pennies in like minutes. Like, the pennies are gone. So I can already see the water starting to turn murky. Or it's actually not water, it's vinegar. So we're going to pour a little bit more salt in here kind of speed up the process. Oh yeah. Cleaning them right off. The salt like works really good with this stuff. How dirty my hand is. Jeez, there's a lot of flies. They must be attracted to this stuff. Try not to leave these up. We, you know what? We should have had a tub of water before we did this. Yeah, maybe I sh maybe that's what I should do. I should get some water.
fill her up. Alright, we got a little bit of water in there, and that's going to stop it from oxidizing anymore. Oh boy, they're not reacting good with the water. Looks like there's some rust on it. Well, we put it in warm water, and hopefully it's better than... I'm going to wash them one by one. Just leave them out get all the vinegar off of them. Squish them around a little bit maybe. I think it's even worse to put water in here. Yeah, it's not it's making them even more oxidized. We might have to run them through the process again depending on how the water works. But as you can see, you know what? We're just going to dump this out. That didn't sound good. I don't want the pavement to turn black. And this looks about good. Let's put in a couple more, maybe a handful. Some more salt. Oh man, yeah, that's working. Getting all those pennies clean. that some brass don't need that oh we got a wheat penny and I think we might have messed it up and that acid's going right through it yeah that's a uh, messed up old penny. Well, that sucks. I kind of like wheat backs. But whatever. Put more salt in here. And I think we're losing um I think this is turning into more of a salt oxide dioxide stuff. So it's really starting to work on my pennies, but I don't know. I guess it's kind of too diluted with salt, so we might have to dump this one and dump it in the grass or something. It won't harm it. It's natural. Yep, this isn't really doing much. Oh, sorry, vinegar. I'm to put more in there. All right, we're gonna put the camera down for a sec. Don't worry, guys. I'll be right back. can just see all of them most of them are still black you know that kind of sucks but got these pennies like a couple years ago from my uh, great uncle John he had them out on a farm or something like that something around that pretty close Ooh, that penny is red I like it's melted through the face. I don't know if this is like super harmful for my pennies. Like it's really bad. Like once you just let them sit in there. All right, we're gonna pour some more vinegar in here. Hopefully stuff works out and hopefully I can get a couple wheat heads out of here. Just a little bit, just like last time. Cap back on. Oh. I already see the dirt coming off of my hands. And we're going to dilute it with some salt. Saturated, I guess you'd say. We're going to put some more pennies in here. Ow. 
Oh, this vinegar is burning my hands because I got cuts on my hands. See, look. Ow, oh, that hurts. Just see the pure amount of salt in here. It's kind of like, kind of mushy. Just like when you put too much sugar in your cereal, you can find it at the bottom. That means this stuff didn't work that great. Now, the newer pennies don't want to go through as well because they're made out of zinc and the thin layer of copper, so most of them are going to be junk. See, like this one? Yep, no good. It's only the true copper pennies, like this one. Oh, this one's a Canadian penny. 1975. So we're going to... This is going to be a series of episodes. And I'm going to try my best to polish these after I do this process. And hopefully I can get a couple bucks off of it, or maybe a couple dollars off of these pennies. Uh, well, this doesn't want to... See, that's because it's zinc. Pennies from, or most pennies from 1982 and newer are made out of zinc. Guaranteed. I know my coins. I've been researching them pretty much half of my life, so it's a good amount of knowledge. Alright, let's uh, start cleaning these up. See, this is 1983. That's after 1982. This, 1972, you can tell that all these in here or copper, because you can see them all. There's a guy in a motorcycle over there. I'm just doing this in my driveway. I'm going to hose down the pavement after this. Make sure no vinegar gets anywhere and dissolves anything. Because believe me, with combination of salt, this stuff can get really, really nasty. Well, it looks like we got one. 78. Most pennies from 78 are made out of 100% copper. They're not pure like 100%, but like it's made out of, the whole thing is copper. And so they stopped making them because it costs more than a penny to make a penny. You know, that's sort of the weird part. Just a little bit of back in there. So we're going to start to look through these. Now I got a whole bucket more, but we're going to keep on washing it out over and over. I don't know. I'm not seeing any copper pennies. Well, there's 79. Don't want it to dissolve, so we'll put it in there. we got to keep on looking at these dates. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Jeez, these flies suck. Nope. Oh, what's this one? Nope, not that one either. This one seems to be of age, I think. I don't know, it seems like none of them, because I can't really see the dates. Oh, there we go. Here's one. Oh, we dropped it. Poop. Ah, oh, dang it. I just had it. Okay, so we're just going to take a big handful of these pennies. And you guess on which ones are good or not. Seventy-six. I can go in there. that that's all the corrosion that means it's zinc because yeah if there's light layer of copper it's more likely to oxidize faster the thicker it is the longer it takes to fully rust or you know copper rust oxidize just means that's just a fancy word for being exposed to air Ah. 
flies are getting annoying. I can't even tell which ones are which. Put some more salt in there and mix them around. Make sure they get touched by the salt. Okay, I think it's all dissolved. Well, you know what? We'll sort through the pennies later. We're just cleaning them. Ow! Oh, it feels like somebody's stabbing me in my hand. This vinegar works really good on wounds, but it hurts. I had a couple cuts. I think I told you guys about that. Make sure all the vinegar is wash through. You might add a little bit more. Depends. But the true copper pennies will I guess they're starting to well all of them are really starting to turn black again because of the acid. Which really sucks. You know I wish I had Something that didn't contain oxygen, some solution maybe to keep them from turning black. Because this, you can see this one's from 1973 and it's already turning black from the acid. Hopefully I can find another solution, but... Um, I, thanks guys for watching. This is the end of the video. I'm sorry I had to end it a little bit short. Um, usually my videos are like 40 minutes long. And you know that from watching them if you're subscribed um yeah and it's a nice day all right so besides that despite me being weird i'm going to end this video right here and help you watch the other part of my series i'm going to upload a video right after this which is me sorting through the pennies and seeing how much they're all worth um, because they're all, they're all random pennies, so, um, like, subscribe, comment, I would like to know you guys' feedback, and, um, any suggestions on any video I should make in the future, just put a comment down below, and like always, I'll see you guys in the next video, Bye bye